Hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are the Ripkatoons. Welcome, Welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we've had so many requests to do a side aerial tutorial. So today's the day. Today's the day, guys. So we are going to take you guys through some steps and some tips to help you get your side aerial. Or as we like to call it, a brownie. But before we get on with the tutorial, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, and, and give it a big thumbs up if you like it. First of all, before you do anything, you must warm up. In a side aerial or a brownie, you have to have nice split open legs. So we're gonna warm up mostly our legs. Exercise is going to help you guys build up strength in your leg to take off and do a really high run. So depending on what leg you are, that's the leg that you'll jump on because obviously that's the leg that you take off from. So I'm a left legger and Sam's a right legger, so she'll do it on her right, I'll do mine on my left. But you should do both legs so yeah, that you always strengthen both, both. So a no handed cull is a cull with no hands. So before you try doing it without hands, let's master a cartwheel first. Once you've mastered your cartwheel, then you need to add a hop before your cartwheel. Then, to get more speed and momentum, you add a run before your hop and then a cartwheel. Run, run, hop, cartwheel. And make sure you get that cartwheel as fast as you can. And now we're gonna share with you guys just some really important tips to think about when you try your brownie. So your legs are now your hands, so you have to get your legs over really, really fast. And underneath your body, not out. So after your big hop, you must bring your body down towards your knee, so then you can push off from there. So another tip, when you run, run with your arms down, bring them up on the hop, then bring them into your chest when you take off. And that will help you with height. So Brani is done on the spot, so you hop straight up and go down and up. This means when you do your hop, you step straight down underneath yourself rather than stepping out. No. <laughs> So some people when they first start trying their brownie tend to tuck their head, but this just doesn't look good and it's incorrect. So in your brownie you must make sure your back is straight and your eyes are looking at the floor. And we have a secret tip guys. Are you ready? So you can use a heel to help you get your brownie even faster. Because a heel will help you with your momentum. You're already part way over because you're starting on the hill. <laughs> So you stand not at the top of the hill because you don't want to tumble down. Like Jack. So yeah, the hill just gives you that extra momentum to help give you the confidence to lift your hands up in the front. So in a nutshell, you want to do a nice run up, a big hop, go down to your legs, push off as high as you can, get as high as you can, split your legs, get your legs over as fast as you can, and underneath you. Woo! And there's all the tips for your brown in a nutshell. And you'll nail it, guys. And now all you have to do is repetition, practice, practice. It every day so that you get the muscles that you need to do that trick. And also, and don't be disheartened if you don't get your side aerial in one day because it takes, everyone's different. Some people can get it in one day, some people can yeah, take a hundred days. Yeah, it's fine as long as you keep practicing until you get it, then you are succeeding. And also your Never muscles- Never give up! <laughs> also your muscles are probably gonna be really sore from trying a new trick, so don't be scared that your That's muscles normal. That's totally normal. Yep. And some people complain about sore ankles as well, so beware of that. <laughs> Again, it's just the muscles around your ankle trying to get used to this new beautiful trick that you're doing. And you might get your side aerial and then the next day you just can't do it. Don't worry, that happens all the time, it's fine. Just keep practicing and you'll you get, get it, it back again. Because yep. you already you already know how to do yeah, it. You already know how to do it, you'll get it back again. So that's the end of the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it and we hope you learnt something today. Yep, even if it was just one thing to help you guys improve your side aerial that you already have. Yeah. So make sure you comment down below if you've ever tried to do a side aerial brownie, no hand cut. Or if you can already do it, share with us. Also comment down below what tutorial you'd like us to do next. And remember we post videos on Squared every Monday. And we post videos on this channel every, every Thursday. Thursday. Be sure to give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, touch that bell, and we'll be right there with you <laughs> in a hot second. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next Thursday. See ya. See ya.